Hello everyone, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today I want to answer a question, or actually quite a few. I wrote them down, but I just threw the list away. I thought it's too many things to read. Uh, the question is, do you need paper? See, right, I'll show you guys something. And a lot of folks always ask me about this. Uh, I'm going to lift up this two ply, this is two layers of uh, paper. Now we have plywood, and then we have concrete here. And the question is, one of very, well, a lot, is do you need paper to cover concrete if you're going to stucco it? No. In fact, you couldn't do paper over concrete, cinder block, brick, or any other cementitious substrate if you tried. Because here's the reason why no paper is necessary. Can you use some peeling sticks? Absolutely. You can use a peeling stick. Peel and stick won't adhere to concrete unless that concrete is dust free. Very, very clean. Anyway, I'll show you why you can't use paper, guys. Um, <laughs> okay, this magnet right here. Now, this magnet, I stick it into my uh, little jar of uh, concrete screws. You see that? Okay. Now, the magnet is to put concrete nails into cinder block, concrete, brick, rock, stone, you name it. And what we do is, that magnet right here holds the, holds the um, half inch uh, concrete screw. And you can't use a hammer, guys. I mean, you might think, oh man, I'm gonna use a hammer. This won't work, guys. You gotta have a, a little sludge. And basically, this is made like this so you don't lose a fingernail. How many fingernails have I lost? Quite a few. Okay, see, so what you do is you put this like so, tap it, and then after you tap it and get it started, pull it off, and one or two hits only. As you keep hitting it, it'll just destroy it. So by the time you do this over paper, that paper's gone. It creates a huge hole. So I'll, I'll tell you, this is more of a, um, an ex explanation video on you folks who are calling me saying, how do we apply stucco, cement, plaster, same thing, over concrete walls, cinder block, or anything that's, say, cementitious, like rock, stone. And have I done this uh, a lot of times? Uh, let's just say I've got close to 40 years in this one trade. And yeah, we did a parking structure where it took 30 tons of sand. That's like 200 bags of stucco over concrete. It was a parking structure. And anyway, we, uh, we're do, we do the uh, stucco this way. I mean, uh, what we do if, if your concrete is not perfectly clean, if it's perfectly clean, say, you can just mist it. Just sort of wet it. If it's dripping wet, you can't put the stucco on it because the stucco won't adhere because it's dripping wet. So what you do is you wet, you wet the concrete. Like say, for example, if I'm doing a whole house, it's all concrete. I'm gonna wet it the day before and then I'm gonna wet it in the morning because we don't want the water dripping because the stucco won't adhere. If it's too dry, we can't get a mechanical bond. What's best? A mechanical bond naturally wet stucco to wet concrete that's done already like this, that's better. If you put wire, sometimes the wire affects adhering forever. If you're going to do wire though, see this, this blue stuff here. This is weldcrete. Weldcrete is a bonding agent. It kills the suction sometimes on concrete, but what it does is it allows cementitious finishes to stick over say block, concrete, uh, cinder block, and, and all the rest of those things. Right now, what I, we're doing something here that's kind of odd. Now we have plywood and it blends into the concrete. So what I've done is they have the, uh, uh, this peeling stick here. And so what we do is as long as we're past this wood, we're good. So I'm, I'm about six inches past. So I put this paper on it. Now, that's good. Now I can go ahead and stucco this. And of course, uh, a lot of people, <laughs> believe it or not, they say, why do you need the wire? <laughs> well, if there's no wire, the stucco can't adhere to nothing. You can't put stucco on paper and expect it to adhere. It'll just fall right off. Here's what I did. I pre-cut a little piece. And two guys, uh, while I'm on this subject, it's uh, cover, trying to cover a lot of bases. Might confuse the majority of folks, but what kind of wire can you use? People say this is 18 gauge and 17. 
is not what they use in other parts of the country. Well, that's what they use here in California, and it's, in my opinion, the best. We've got a lot of different kinds of wire. This is for soffits. It's called riblath. And they also have another wire for soffits, for ceilings. It's called 3.4, or diamond mesh. Both of them are good. And I've heard people say, well, the diamond mesh rusts. It'll rust if you take the stucco and you keep stuccoing over and over. You remove the galvanized finish on either. Anyway, that's, uh, that's why it'll sometimes rust. But it's galvanized for a reason, so it doesn't rust. What I'm going to do is, this is, uh, I've got all, if you, you name the wire, I got it on my truck. But for the sake of explaining different things uh, about wire, stucco nettings, and what metals you can use. This is riblath designed for ceilings that have studs every two feet. The 3.4 is designed for ceilings every 16 inches, so it, it sags more. Okay, why am I using this? Because, because I can. It's on my truck, and I don't have to use a lot of concrete nails. So basically, I'm going to shin this in here. All right, so now I'm tied in, stuck wire to wire. It's tied in, guys. Now I'm going to put a couple staples. All right, now here, I, I, I'm bending over to prove a point, guys, that it really doesn't matter if you uh, cut it off or if you just put it in there. In fact, I was on a job site a month ago, and we were opening the wall for exploration, and somebody used chain link fence. It was a chain link fence, and uh, the owner said, oh, wow, they really ruined this. I said, not really. A chain link fence will work, but for the sake of showing you what, what I'm talking about. Almost all wires can work, guys. Uh, a stucco netting is great. If you get the, the stucco netting, say that is like, we call it chicken wire. Why do we call some stucco nettings chicken wire? Because chicken coops are 20 gauge wire. It's also used for tile. It's a very fine wire. This stuff here, this is made for soffit ceilings. And can it work? Yes. Yes, it can work perfectly. I'm just getting this right here because oops, we don't want the stucco past the wood. We want the stucco to um, not set out. Okay, so this is all concrete now, guys. I'm a, I know where the, the wood is. Here's the wood. Oh, that ain't wood. There's the wood. Okay, now here. Do I need concrete nails, guys? Not really because... I've already put bonding agent there, but for the sake of explanation, I'm going to take this guy here. I'm going to take my, I got a whole bunch of these magnets. Uh, you just put your concrete screw, why is it only a half inch? Have you guys ever tried to put a one inch uh, nail into concrete? Good luck, you blow the concrete out. So this is just a half inch nail. And so you just put it, and remember, tap it a couple times. And if it goes through like that, you do it again. You can't always get this right the first time. In fact, uh, sometimes it takes 10 tries. You get it here. Okay, now that's, that's tight. So if I put my cement plaster here, that cement plaster is going to adhere to the concrete by weld creep. The bonding agent will make it adhere. Did I need that bonding agent? No, but for the sake of explanation, I put it there because I usually like to go overboard rather than under. Um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and plaster this and I might go through those notes and find any questions I might have missed because I was going to answer a whole bunch of questions with one video. One thing I wanted to show you guys is a lot of people call me and say, Kirk, you use the wrong trowel. Now, I've been using these trowels for well over 30 years when I first did some uh, swimming pools. Look guys. These are, these are little guys. These are uh, 16 or 14 inch. This is the one I use. It's got a sh flat surface here. This is a radius. A radius is for swimming poles or concrete. The concrete sidewall, uh, sidewalks, you go ahead and use this. These are four inches wide or three inches wide. The ones I prefer don't have a complete radius. They're just flat here. It's just the arcs that are cut. Uh, anyway, I thought I'd point that out because Many people from all over say, Kirk, you're not a real plaster because you don't use the right trowel. I could use any trowel, guys. I could use my shoe. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and plaster this. And um, 
I'm going to think about any other things I might have missed about concrete and how stucco adheres. I already remembered something before I started plastering. Caulking, guys. What kind of caulking do you want to use on all of this? You want to use a polyurethane. Which ones are polyurethane? You got Sikaflex 1A. You got Moist Stop. As long as it says polyurethane, there's 50 brands of caulking that you want to go ahead and use. Everything was caulked already, but this is what you do. After you put your paper, you just fuse that together, guys. Just fuse it together. Get your caulking in there and make sure that you got a second bead there. That way, it's, you're, you're guaranteed no leaks, even though it's already been caulked. Anyway, guys, thought I'd point that out, too, because there might be someone say, gee whiz, man, you guys didn't caulk it, or you guys didn't cover the floor. I get a lot of calls like that, and they say, you guys didn't cover. It's like, guys, leave that stuff to us. Anyway, as we get done, I'll, I'll uh, explain what we did and how to achieve this, too, for the heck of it. All right, guys, it's an hour later. We've got one inch here, two inches on the bottom. When you're going over concrete, put a half inch at a time, a half inch. If you've got to go six inches, just go a half inch each time. Allow each coat to suck up and absorb in. And then put your next coat. Yeah, and, of course, uh, the, another question we get often is, Kirk, we're working. It's about 100 degrees. Well, it's about 103 right now. has to be because I'm in the hole right here. Every time we're in a hole, that's when it gets really hot. So if you're working, say you're doing a big wall, guys, and it's 100 degrees, these walls absorb the heat. And now if you don't keep them moist ahead of yourself, say you wet the whole job down prior at 8 o'clock in the morning, 10 o'clock in the afternoon now, 100 degree weather, it's just baking that wall. You've got to hit it again. Wet it again because that's what this video is about, how to apply cement stucco or plaster or uh, it's all the same stuff over concrete and have it adhere permanently. And what's the right way? The mechanical bond. The mechanical bond is porous. The walls porous and wet. The new stucco's wet and they absorb. And that's how they adhere. All right, guys, it's Friday, August 23rd. Everybody knows what that means. That's my birthday. It's about 5 o'clock. We're in the hot sun. Jay said, well, D Dad, how about I'll take you to the Irish pub over here and we'll have... A beer. I said, boy, I need a pitcher. <laughs> I'm dehydrated working in this hot sun. Anyhow, my name is Kirk. Jason on the camera. We thank you guys for watching and as usual, we'll see you guys on the next one. By the way, folks, my dad and I are now members of Amazon Affiliates. So if you're looking to buy any of the plastering or construction tools you've seen in our videos and you want to support us in the process, you can check the links below our video or you can go to our website and get them there. If you have any other questions that, for tools we don't have linked, email us direct and we'll respond to you then. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one.